Lucky Strike presents the Jack Benny Program. But first, here's an important message from the National Tobacco Tax Research Council. Smokers, next time you buy cigarettes, remember that over 800,000 tobacco farm families thank you for contributing to their support. And remember also that you help support your government, federal, state, and local. When you buy a pack of cigarettes, the federal government gets eight cents. Most local and state governments get three or four cents more. That's better than a 50% tax on every cigarette you smoke. Yes, in buying cigarettes, over half your packs go for tax. And now, the Jack Benny Program, transcribed, presented by Lucky Strike. Be happy, go lucky, be happy, get better taste, be happy, go lucky, get better taste today. Friends, tear and compare. See for yourself that Luckies are made better to taste better. From a newly opened pack, take a cigarette made by any other manufacturer. Carefully tear a thin strip of paper straight down the seam from end to end and gently remove the tobacco. In tearing, be sure not to loosen or dig into the tobacco. Now, do exactly the same with a lucky strike. Then compare. Some cigarettes are too loosely packed. Some even fall apart. But look at that lucky. See how it stays together, a perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco. Now, what does this mean to you as a smoker? It means exactly this. Because your lucky is so round and firm and fully packed, you avoid annoying loose ends that spoil the taste, hot spots that burn harsh and dry. Because your lucky has long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco, it burns evenly, smokes smooth and mild. Yes, tear and compare. Prove to yourself that luckies are made better to taste better. Then make your next carton Lucky Strike. The Lucky Strike program starring Jack Benny with Mary Livingston, Solaris, Rochester, Dennis Day, the Sportsman Quartet, and yours truly, Don Wilson. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Easter Sunday, and in cities all over the country, people are Easter parading. Right now, in Beverly Hills, Jack is getting ready for his stroll down Wilshire Boulevard. At the moment, he's taking a shower, and Rochester is laying out his clothes. Mm-hmm. Mr. Benny's been in that shower a long time. Well, he always stays in there pretty long. He'd get through sooner if he'd sing in the shower like everybody else instead of playing his violin. <laughs> <laughs> well, i better lay out his clothes. Oh, Rochester. Yes, boss? I'm through with my shower. Bring me a nice big towel. The biggest towel we have is the one you took from the Acme Plaza Hotel. (laughs) Well, bring me that. I can't. It's still on the roller. (laughs) Well, bring me any towel. I'm cold. Yes, sir. Here you are. Thank you. Here, Rochester, hang my violin on the line. (laughs) Professor LeBlanc has given me a lesson tomorrow. Yes, sir. You want your clothes now, boss? Just my shorts. I'm going to do my exercises. Here you are. You've really been doing your exercises regularly, haven't you? That's right, Rochester. I want to look nice and trim on my TV show next Sunday. Well, I'll start with my bending exercises. One, two, three, and four. Bend down, touch the floor. Lift my arms up in the air. Bend down, pick up your hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gee, it's hard to bend down like that. Oh, boy. Now for your knee bends. Ready? Uh-huh. Okay, go. Yeah. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up. Down, up, 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 Congratulations, boss. You made it. Yeah, that's enough for today. I better get dressed. And I think I'll wear my blue suit today. That all looks swell. I'll get it for you. Good. And Rochester, while I finish dressing, look through my closet, see if any of my clothes need to be sent to the cleaners. Yes, what about this gray suit, boss? I don't know. How does it look to you? Well, it's got a gravy stain on the sleeve, salad dressing on the pants, butter on the cup, coffee on the lapel, and meat sauce all over the vest. It has? Yeah, shall I send it to the cleaners or put it in the refrigerator? <laughs> <laughs> Send 
send it to the cleaners. But first, to Rochester, first go through the pockets and make sure I didn't leave any money in it. Oh, boss, come now. <laughs> Never mind, just do it. Well, I'm all dressed, Rochester. How do I look? Fine, but you'd better put your glasses on. Oh, I'm not going to wear my glasses today. They make me look old. But you you don't see too well without them. Rochester, I just wear my glasses for reading. Now, let's see. I think I'll take a... I'll get it. Oh, hello, Phil. I'm Mary. <laughs> oh. oh. Oh, happy Easter, Mary. Well, I'm ready to go walking if you are. Okay. But aren't you going to say anything about my new dress? Say, it's very pretty. Hey, Mary, isn't it kind of daring? No, Jack, it's been the style for a couple of years. It's called a plunging neckline. Oh, oh. All the girls will be wearing them today. They will? Yes. Rochester, bring my glasses. <laughs> Thanks. Come on, Mary. Let's go to the boulevard and stroll in the Easter parade. <laughs> Gee, there are a lot of people on Wilshire Boulevard, aren't there, Mary? Yeah, and everybody's dressed so nice. Well, so are you. Gee, that new hat you're wearing is really cute. Where'd you get it? The May Company. They give me all my clothes. The May Company gives you your clothes? Yeah, that's funny. You've been working for me for the past 15 years. I know. They send me food, too. <laughs> oh, well, that's nice of them. Say, Jack, how far do you think we ought to walk? Oh, I don't know. Probably as far as La Brea, and then we'll... Oh, Jack, look who's coming this way. Isn't that one of the boys in your Beavers Club? Oh, yes. Hello, Joey. Hello, Mr. Benny. Hello, Miss Livingston. Hello, Joey. Say, that's a mighty cute rabbit you have there. Yes, it's my Easter bunny. I'm taking him over to Mr. Benny's house to feed him. To my house to feed him? Why? My father says he's got more lettuce than anyone in Beverly Hills. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Did you just get this rabbit, Joey? Oh, no. I got him last Easter. In fact, I had two of them. Come on, Mary, let's go. Um... <laughs> In a, just a minute, Jack. Uh, what happened to your other rabbit, Joey? I don't know. He just disappeared around Christmas time. Mary, let's go. <laughs> uh, Joey, exactly when did your other rabbit disappear? It was, um, uh, December the 23rd. Well, thanks for telling me. Goodbye, Joey. Goodbye, Miss Livingston. Goodbye, Mr. Banks. Goodbye, goodbye. You know, Mary... Oh, quiet. You and your mink Christmas presents. <laughs> that was just a coincidence. I happened to get a mink with pink eyes. <laughs> oh, say, Mary. Mary, look at that billboard. Opening April 21st at the Philharmonic, Julie Garland and her Variety Review. You know, Mary, strolling down the boulevard today reminds me of that picture we saw a couple of years ago with Judy and Fred Astaire. Oh, you mean Easter Parade? Yeah, that's the one. Remember at the start of the picture when Fred was walking along Fifth Avenue singing that song and the people answered him? How did that song go again? <laughs> Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Isn't it nice, Mary? They all answered us. Just like they did in the picture. Yeah. Say, Mary, look. There's Phil Harris standing on the corner. Are you sure? Well, he's standing, but I think it's him. <laughs> yes, it is. You're right. Hello, Phil. Hi, Olivia, you little Easter bunny. <laughs> Who's that egg you got with you? <laughs> Darn it, I forgot to take off my bathing cap. <laughs> 
Say, Phil, Mary and I are strolling down Wilshire. Want to join us? No, Jackson, no. The Chamber of Commerce wants me to stand here till another bus comes by. Another bus? Yeah, I'm the grand finale of the 95-cent tour. <laughs> what? Them out-of-towners go nuts. <laughs> oh, brother. Uh... Phil, uh, Phil, aren't you a little conceited? No, no. Conceit is when you think you got it and you ain't. <laughs> Phil, and you've got it? Well, I must have, Jackson. They want me to run for president on the prohibition ticket. <laughs> Mary, Mary, you talk to him, will you? I can't. Look, Phil. Jack and Step I... Step back, Libby. Here comes another busload of tourists. I gotta take a bow. Hmm. Phil, Jack and I are going for a walk. Do you want to join us or not? I'd love to, Mary, but some of my musicians are going to pick me up to have a little card game, and they need a fifth for bridge. Phil, you mean a fourth for bridge. No, a fifth. They play, and I pour. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Harris, you can always depend on a feed line from that gray-haired gentleman with the button shoe. <laughs> Come on, Mary, let's go. All right. So long, Phil. Hey, so long, Olivia. See you later. <laughs> Come on, dollface. We got a long way to walk yet. Walking with you side by side, happy Easter. Happy Easter. Fills my chest with so much pride. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Why, oh me, there's so much to sing as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Gosh, what perfect weather. Spring, the skies are clear, the flowers are blooming, the sun is shining. Hey, look who's here, my violin teacher. Bonjour, Monsieur Benny. Well, Professor LeBlanc, what a surprise running into you. Hello, Professor. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Well, Professor, you certainly look nice today. Is that a new Easter suit you're wearing? Mademoiselle, I am a poor violin teacher. I cannot afford to buy new suits. Well, what do you do with the money I pay you for my violin lesson? I buy sleeping pills. <laughs> Are they any good? No. After a few days, I wake up. <laughs> oh, well, it was nice seeing you, Professor. And don't forget you're giving me a violin lesson tomorrow. I will not forget. I will tie a string around my finger. Good, good. Better I should tie a rope around my neck. <laughs> what? Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> I can't understand why he hates to give me violin lessons. I can't understand it either. You played beautifully. Well, I... Huh? Mary, that was sweet. What made you say that? Oh, I don't know. Just an impulse. Yesterday, I kicked a cop in the pants. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let yourself go, you know. Anyway, Mary, we're certainly running into a lot of people we know, aren't we? Yeah. Yum bum 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 ba bum ba bum happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yum bum 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 ba bum ba bum happy Easter. Happy Easter. My oh me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. You know, Daichu, it's nice getting a day off. It's your rest night. <laughs> While getting away from that CBS switchboard. Yeah. Oh, God, should I feel so elegant walking in the Easter parade? How do you feel? My feet are killing me. <laughs> but it's my own fault for buying such small shoes. Well, what size did you get? Nine. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake. What's the matter? Getting your foot in a size nine shoe is like docking the Queen Mary in a Dixie cup. <laughs> oh, look who's talking. Get a load of your shoes. They're not so big. They're not. Last year when we went on our vacation, every hotel we stopped at pasted labels on them. <laughs> well, 
it's a natural mistake because my shoes are genuine cowhide. Cowhide? Yes. Yeah. From the way your toes stick out, it looks like milking time. <laughs> Talk to me like that. Oh, I'll... hey, Mabel, look. Here comes Jack Benny. Yeah. And look who's with him, Mary Livingston. Mabel, they're coming toward us. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Yum, dum, dum, da, da, dum, bum, bum. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stole the avenue. You greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Well, Don, Don Wilson. Hello, Don. Hello, Mary. Don, I'm glad I ran into you. You know that story about me in the current issue of Radio Television Mirror? Oh, yes. yes. Well, that same reporter came back to see me yesterday, and he wanted to get some information about you. Oh, really, Jack? Uh Uh-huh. Oh, Jack, it's nice of you to tell me this. I feel flattered. What did the reporter want to know? Well, he wanted to know different things, like what you eat for breakfast, what you eat for lunch. What you eat for dinner, what you have for dessert, what you have after dessert, (laughs) what you eat between meals, what you eat before going to bed at night, all those different things. Well, that's nice, Jack, but uh, didn't he want to know anything about my work on your program? Yes, yes, he did, Don. He thought that my last couple of shows weren't quite as funny as usual. He wanted to know if you ate one of my writers. (laughs) Oh, Jack, I know you're kidding, but... I wish you'd stop with that talk. You're always giving everybody the impression I'm fat. All right, Don. I'll stop joking about your size. Say, Don, would you like to walk down Wilshire Boulevard with us? Oh, I'd love to, Mary, but I'm on the other side of the street. (laughs) Oh, yes. Lift your stomach, Don. Here comes a bus. (laughs) See you later. Come on, Mary. Um, bum, 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 bum. Say, Mary, have you got a cigarette? Oh, sure, Jack. I have some right here in my... Oh, gee, I forgot to put them in my purse. Well, here's the drugstore. I'll step in and get them. Okay. Oh, clerk. Yes, sir, what can I do for you? (laughs) Ways of ways, shaving cream, Kleenex? No, no. I'd like to buy some... Magazines, uh... aspirin, sunglasses, white savers? No, no, no. All I want is... Seltzer, Tootsie Rolls, whiting paper? I can't go into one store. Hold it, mister, hold it. As long as you're guessing and playing games, I'll give you a hint as to what I want. Now, what do you do that relaxes you and gives you pleasure? I take off my girdle. What do you do? (laughs) Well, if you must know, I smoke a lucky lucky strike. (laughs) Well, why didn't you say so? You want to pack a lucky strike? Uh, Here you are. Thank you. Uh, goodbye. Wait a minute. Don't go yet. Huh? Aren't you going to open your pack of Wuckies here? Yeah. Well, if you want me to, certainly. There you are. Goodbye. Not yet. Oh. Aren't you going to take out a Wuckie and tear it down the center? <laughs> but uh... I make all my customers do it. Well, okay. There. See how the tobacco holds together? No loose ends. No room for air spaces. Hot spots that burn harsh and dry. Wuckies are made from long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco. That's why Wucky Strikes are my favorite brand. Well, good, good, and thank you for showing me. Happy Weaster. <laughs> Jack, you got the cigarettes? Yes, yes. Come on, Mary. Let's keep walking. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say Happy Easter. Happy Easter. My, oh, me, there's so much to see as you stroll the avenue. And you greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. <laughs> well, Mr. Kessler. <laughs> Mrs. 
Mr. Kissel, it's nice running into you today. A mutual pleasure, Mr. Benny. And how are you, Miss Livingstone? Oh, I'm fine, thank you. Mr. Kitzel, you certainly look nice in those striped pants, cutaway coat, and top hat. Thank it's you. It's just right for Easter. Oh, thank you. But you know, I'm also wearing it for sentimental reasons. Oh. This is the suit in what I got married. Oh, when you got married? Yes. See, that must have been about 20 years ago. Yeah, funny how a little thing like that sticks with you. <laughs> yes, yes. Oh, my, I'll never forget that ceremony. When they said, if anyone has any objection to this marriage, speak now or forever hold your peace. Yes. A voice from the back hollered, don't marry her. Oh, my goodness, who was it? Me, I'm a ventriloquist. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Kitzel, you're joking. Unfortunately. Oh, <laughs> uh, well, Mr. Kitzel, it was a pleasure running into you on Easter, but we've got to be moving along. Goodbye, Mr. Benny. Goodbye. Goodbye, Mr. Kitzel. Goodbye. Ah, uh, you know, Mary, it's always nice running into Mr. Kitzel. I don't know, he seems so cheerful He's and... Fun. <laughs> Bud. Huh? Come here a minute. <laughs> me? Yeah. Excuse me, Mary. Yeah? What are you doing? <laughs> We're just strolling along in the Easter parade. How far are you going? To La Brea. That's fine. What? You said you was going to La Brea, and I said that's fine. Well, wait a minute. Aren't you going to try to talk me out of it? Not me. This is my day off. <laughs> oh, oh. Well, happy Easter. Well, same to you. Same to you. Come on, Mary. Uh, what happened? Nothing. It's all right. We can go to La Brea. <laughs> Come on. Never saw such a lovely day. Happy Easter. It's such fun just to nod and say happy Easter. You greet all the friends you meet. Happy Easter to you. Dinner! Hello, Dennis. Hello, Mary. Hey, Dennis, you having a nice Easter? Oh, sure. I colored Easter eggs all morning, and then I hid them. Uh-huh. And then I told my mother to go look for them. Ooh, that must have been fun. Oh, no, it was a mess. The eggs splattered all over my mother's new dress, her two nightgowns, and six of my father's shirts. Well, Dennis, where'd you hide the eggs? In the washing machine. In the washing machine? Yeah, it was awful. Dennis, I don't understand this. Colored Easter eggs shouldn't splatter. How long did you boil them? Oh, boil them! <laughs> Mary, you take them, will you? I'm still a little sick from Phil. Uh... Dennis. Jack and I are walking down as far as La Brea. Would you like to join us? Sure, I'm not stuck up. Well, that's mighty decent of you. <laughs> and by the way, Dennis, be sure you're, you're not late for rehearsals for my television show. I won't. And my mother said that it's okay for me to appear on your TV program, Sonny, if you give me proper credit at the end. What do you mean, proper credit? Well, at the end of the program, she wants you to say, Dennis Day may also be seen on his own television show. He may buy his latest recording, I Hear a Rhapsody, at all music stores. He will soon be seen in 20th Century Fox Picture, The Girl Next Door, and take your judo lessons from Yamashita. <laughs> Dennis, who in the world is Yamashita? Oh, that's my mother's business name. Say, Dennis, while we're walking along, why don't you sing something? Well, do you think it'll be all right? I mean, here on the street? Well, sure. Everybody feels good today. It's Easter. They're all singing. Okay. <laughs> I'll be all in glory. 
Luckies are made better to taste better. From a newly opened pack, take a cigarette made by any other manufacturer. Carefully tear a thin strip of paper straight down the seam from end to end and gently remove the tobacco. In tearing, be sure not to loosen or dig into the tobacco. Now, do exactly the same with a lucky strike. Then compare. You'll see some cigarettes are so loosely packed they fall apart. Others have air spaces, hot spots that burn harsh and dry. But you won't find that in a Lucky. Look at that perfect cylinder of fine, mild tobacco, so free of annoying loose ends that spoil the taste. Notice those long strands of fresh, clean, good-tasting tobacco, so firmly packed to smoke smooth and even, giving you a milder, better-tasting cigarette. Yes, friends, tear and compare. Prove to yourself that Luckies are made better to taste better. Then make your next carton Lucky Strike. Bum, 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 be happy, go lucky, go lucky, strike today. Ladies and gentlemen, next Sunday night, immediately after my radio show, I will do my fifth television program of the season. My guest stars will be Dennis Day, Rochester, and one of the world's greatest violinists, Mr. Isaac Stern. I will also play a violin solo. That's funny. They told me there would be applause here. Oh, well, happy Easter, folks. The Jack Benny program is brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. This is Don Wilson reminding you to listen to your hit parade with Guy Lombardo every Thursday night, presented by Lucky Strike. Consult your newspaper for time and station. The Jack Benny program has been selected as one of the programs to be heard by our armed forces overseas through the facilities of the Armed Forces Radio Service. Stay tuned for the Amos and Andy Show, which follows immediately. Transcribe, this is the CBS Radio Network.